So I read a lot. And, um, you know, more specifically, I could say I've read a lot of Ayn Rand, and I don't necessarily agree with every line that she's saying, but I am a firm believer in the innate rights of man. So you'll never see me initiate a violent stand, but I get so infuriated by racism that I want to fight it, man. But you'll, I'll never be able to do what I can until I try to, try to rise above the lies. As I try to rise above the lies and understand, as I look, I'm sorry. As I look at my own house and see the racist that I am. It's not my fault. It's not like I tried to be, <laughs> but I'm the result of a racist society. I was raised and jaded by a culture that lied to me. Mm -hmm. You see, you lose if you confine your views to the news. You gotta learn to perceive more than what you see with your sight. Just listen for a second. You're gonna see that I'm right. See, if you ought to hit the switch and kill the beam of the light, then heard me speak on the mic. You know, good and well, some of y'all wouldn't think I was white. And because of that, you may think I'm a wannabe, a joke. Well, think what you will. But no, my real goal is hope. Because we won't try to fix nothing unless we think that it's broke. See, it's not just the difference of being black or white. No, sometimes it's the difference of having dough and being broke. See, racism is why we walk down the street scared at night. Racism is perpetuating stereotypes. It's refusing to at least try to bury the strife. And racism is if for any reason you care that I'm white. It's calling what happened back here in Tulsa a riot. <laughs> you can't deny it. Why try it? Why even bother? What was done in 21 wasn't a riot. It was a slaughter. And yes, it's about skin color, but that's not all. Because racism is any time humanity falters. Racism is making a baby and not being a father. Racism is a father that's raping his daughter. Racism is a mother refusing to be there when you need her because she puts you second to any man that beats her. And then turns her head when you cry so she can't see you because it's hard to hear these things, but it's even harder to watch them. But there's no point in even trying to start and solve them until we recognize that we are part of the problem. And you may be sitting there nodding thinking, I'm not racist to yourself, but if you've never acknowledged you racist, you probably racist as hell. You know, every time I deliver that line to a crowd, people always react. Sometimes smile or frown, but some laugh, but funny isn't how I'm trying to sound. So if you guys don't mind, I want to take a moment right now. and I want to pause my poem and time out. And I want to ask you guys a question about Mike Brown. What was the first thought that was running around in your head when you heard he was dead? gunned down by a cop that not only shot him, but unloaded seven rounds. Was it that an unarmed kid was lying dead on the ground, or was it a bunch of speculations about how his skin was brown? And I'm not saying that it's bad, I mean, it is what it is. So I wonder, was it that, his, that he was black? And I think about the way that we react, and I, you know, it doesn't matter how it happened. I guess, I just wonder if we see that it's racist, that we see the fact that he's black makes it more or less tragic. I feel like the way that we see it that way makes it worse because before he was a black kid, he was a person first and that's what hurts. And maybe it makes us wanna help, but indifference is racism. Don't lie to yourself. You see, Hitler didn't kill six mil by himself. And racism is why the Jews hardly got help from anyone else. It's living with a complete disregard for yourself when you constantly do things you know are hard on your health, like you're living your own life without a purpose or intention. It's taking things at face value and as a result remaining ignorant, like thinking that 9-11 was really about religion. <laughs> racism is thinking all Muslims are terrorists. Racism is thinking all terrorists speak Arabic. You know, racism is complaining about immigration like some haters when we forget that the only real Americans were natives. You know, racism is not remembering back in the day to the destruction of that entire people or African slaves. It's ignoring the Sudanese genocide or AIDS, you know. Racism is saying AIDS is a curse for being gay. <laughs> it's you thinking you knew me, 
before you learn my name. But more importantly, it's ignoring me. And these words that I'm saying when I say it's all we do that causes hurt and pain. See, it's not just the colors or tones or the hues of a face. It's forgetting you're no other but your own, the human race. Thank you. Thank you.